So this right here, these little holes and inconsistencies in the filler here after you sand it, this is what can happen if you don't knead the filler and the hardener correctly to get out all the air or if you try to put too much on at one time. The key to doing body filler is, is small amounts and, and patience and make sure you're preparing it properly. I like to mix my body filler on children's books because you can get them for like 99 cents at the thrift store. They have these nice laminated pages that make it really easy to mix the filler on. And then when you're done, you can just rip that page off and use the next one. And you get to read a really nice story while you're working. We finally located another hatch from another 240 wagon that we can chop up and use to make the tailgate for the Volvo truck. It took a long time searching Craigslist and local junkyards to find a wagon that could be a donor car for another hatch, but we finally found one at a place in Ravenna, Ohio. Drennan Service, they're a Volvo shop in Northeast Ohio and we'll link to their website in the description of this video, but they have a ton of old Volvos and parts. They specialize in working on Volvos and they have a ton of old Amazons and 240s and 544s and P1800s. They have everything that you can think of and they, they specialize in Volvo repairs and they sell uh, parts from their parts cars that they have on their property and they had a 240 with uh, a hatch that we were able to buy. We've got it here, we started to chop it up a little bit already so that we can fit it as a tailgate on this thing so we finally have that and now we can proceed with the build. I mean, what do you think? Do you think Girl, this needs to be... Little Listen, little. just shut up for a second. Do you think this needs to be... Uh... Yeah. Okay, so it's good over there. And then over here, what's the deal? Oh, it's hitting that. 
just figure that out? Is that what you just said? Yeah, I'll figure it out. There, I figured it out. Look at that. That's actually, that actually worked. I didn't think that was going to work. I was just being a dick. I didn't think that was going to work. Just make just make sure the gun works before we start. Okay. Let's Have you ever used this before? No. All right. Just make sure it works really quick. This is a, a seam sealer gun. Let's see if it works. Oh wow. It goes backwards. Ooh. Oh wow. wow. Is that for when you put too much on? Yeah, you got to back it off a bit and pull it back <laughs> into the tube. All right. <laughs> we are ready to start seam sealing on this thing. We've got most of the panels in that we're gonna, all the panels that we're gonna do. We got, we have more panels for over here, in the rear, over here and over here, but those we're gonna keep removable. We're gonna keep removable. Those are gonna be removable, so they're not on here right now because we wanna be able to access the tail lights if we ever need to change something, but. Like a bolt or something. Yeah. Something might burn out. You know. So we've got our cargo area behind the front seats here. We blocked this off. So we're going to seam seal all around here to make it watertight so we don't get water leaking into our cargo area. Yeah. Don't want your cargo to get all wet, you know. Yeah. It looks really bad right now. It looks, everything looks really bad, but you know, it's, we're, we're still working on it. Well, it'll look better. The only thing that really needs to look good is over the arches because the rest of this is not going to be visible, but like the wheel arches here, we want to try and do a good job on. Yeah, it'll look good. It'll seam seal. Yeah. And we're probably going to need to do a little bit more fiberglass work on this thing too, but you want to get started seam sealing? Yeah. Alright. Yeah, all the seam sealers in. We we've got to sand the body filler some more. But uh, it looks it's pretty good, right? It's pretty good. I mean, this is pretty solid. These need a little bit a little bit more filling and sanding, but yeah, and then we're we're gonna bed liner it so it'll look it'll look fine. Yep. Then all these patches are in, which took forever, and we seam sealed them. Some of them are really a mess and they need a little bit more, a little bit more attention, but they're in. The tailgate's mostly done, needs a little bit more sanding, but this whole thing needs sanding. The whole thing, we need to sand the whole thing. It's gonna take us a week or two to get, get this place prepped so that we can paint in here. All right, well, that's pretty much it. In the next video, we're gonna paint this thing. We need to learn how to paint a car first, though. Do you know how to do it? Next up, paint. <laughs>